So today I'm talking about a Chevy or GMC P0013 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0013 code? Well, it's an exhaust B camshaft position actuator circuit open bank one. And what does this mean? Well, engines have several components that adjust the timing inside of the engine. And many modern engines have what's called variable valve timing. And this is going to include the actuator that the timing chain rides on. And it's also going to include some solenoids and they're going to have two cams one's going to be for the intake where the air goes into the engine and then you're going to have one for the exhaust where the air is leaving the engine and a four cylinder is going to be fairly simple with this you're going to have two variable valve timing solenoids and the one labeled a is going to be for the intake and the one for exhaust is going to be labeled b if you have a v6 or v8 engine then what you do is you find bank one and bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder so if you find the number one cylinder that's going to be bank one and then the opposite of that is bank two and a v6 or v8 engine is going to have four solenoids you can have two on each side here's two over here one two and then two over here one two right there so basically you have a v6 or v8 engine you just find bank one and the exhaust solenoid is going to be the one on the outside and so what would be some possible causes? Well, first of all, low or dirty engine oil, it can clog up those solenoids and different components inside the variable valve timing. So go and check your engine oil. Be sure it doesn't look like it's extremely dirty or it's low on oil or anything like that because oil does affect those variable valve timing solenoids. If that all looks good, the next thing to go and check out is gonna be those variable valve timing solenoids. And mainly this is gonna be the exhaust solenoid. So you're gonna to wanna to go and check out the solenoid. Be sure to check out the wiring going to it. Or basically just keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connection, anything like this is gonna cause the same symptoms as a bad solenoid. So be sure to keep that in mind. But the next thing to do is go check out the solenoid, check out the wiring going to it, and either test it or replace it. And if you go through and you check those things out and those things all look good and you're still having an issue, then it might be possible that something's wrong with the timing chain or timing belt, that it slipped a notch or it's just stretched out and old or something like this and it's throwing all the timing off. And the main way you go to check this out is that there'll be timing marks that when you turn the engine, they should be lined up. And if they're off, say like this mark was over here or something along these lines, then it can throw things off and it can cause issues. Quite often a timing chain that's really old and stretched, these timing marks might be correct, but when the engine's running, it's so stretched out, it can throw things off. So if you do have a really old timing chain or timing belt, then that's something to keep in mind. Also, it could be a camshaft position sensor or possibly a crankshaft position sensor. Although usually when there's an issue with these, you're gonna get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But by far the most common problem with the Chevy or GMC P0013 code is going to be something's going on with that exhaust VVT solenoid. Like there's some kind of issue with the wiring going to it or old and dirty engine oil has clogged it up. And these solenoids do work with these actuators. This is what the timing chain or timing belt right on right up at the top of the engine. And these actuators don't usually fail, but they can fail sometimes. So if you do check everything else out, then it is something to keep in mind. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of a Chevy or GMC with the P0013 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helped you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.